Hey guys, so today I did all right. Um, total of 560 uh, commissions, $93.15, uh, 55 tickets. So it's so, sort of around the area where I want, uh, like I said, for myself, I like to keep things around 20, 25%, uh, no more than 20 or 25% is my commission in terms of uh, how it stacks against my, uh, my income. Um, so today is, right near the upper limit of what I feel like is acceptable. Uh, anyway, so I traded a couple of stocks, Array, HD, and uh, KSS uh, Kohl's. Um, so Array kind of popped up, uh, sort of trading around this top range. Um, and I, I think I went uh, long um, on Array, and that's where I made my money. So on the 15 minute, uh, let's see here, it look like. Where is it for today? Um, yeah, 12, 21. So today, 15-minute uh, breakout. I actually uh, kind of chickened out on this. Um, so that's why I didn't make as much money as I could have. So I saw that it, it made a new 5-minute high. This is sort of the level it was at before. It's trying to crack this level of 22.33. Uh, new high, so I went long, it popped up, and then I sold towards the high. Um, I saw that came back down, held this level, so I went long again, it popped up, and then I got out. Um, as you can see, it kept on going up actually. So I uh, left, I certainly left money on the table, but I was playing other stocks, so um, it turned out to be okay. So went long, popped, so, um, and then I got rid of this piece on the way down, um, you know, keeping to my break even. Went long again, and then it sort of didn't do anything, and I got out, because usually my rule of thumb is, if it doesn't really do anything for a couple minutes, uh, usually it'll just go back down, and I was afraid that this stock will just drop on me. Um, and again, at this level, just remember this, is if you look at the daily again, it was uh, a button D, um, SMA, so it's like right up here. So this is a good level of resistance. So I thought I was gonna fall back. So I got out, and then it turns out that I was wrong. It kept on going up. So I only made forty-seven dollars. You know, so it is what it is. HD. I think I got chopped up a bit with HD. Um, so uh, Home Depot. I it, it was sort of trading at this level, um, and. Look at the five minute. So I went long. Um, I actually lost money. I lost a few. It's probably because I exited. So I think this is what happened. So, ah, okay. So I was hoping that it would go towards 191 up here, which is a previous day close. So as it was about to break, so this is, you see this level here, uh, it's 190, 190.45, uh, sort of this level, um, at 10.05, it hit that level and then it kind of made its way back down, held this at 10.12, I was holding the 189.90 level, uh, and then so it was get, trying to get another crack at it, so I thought it was going to break it, so I went long. And when it dropped, I added to my position. I took small size because it was really big. Uh, it was really pricey stock. So I took 200 shares, 200 shares. Um, and when it did pop up, I got out 100 shares. So I only had 300 left. And then on the drop, I basically exited the remainder of my position, which is good because... Um, and this is kind of a little below my break even. Um, I, you know, because of the spread and whatnot, I couldn't get out of break even. Uh, and then it dropped on, on the stock. Um, so I'm glad I uh, don't... I didn't help, I didn't hold the stock. I'm very glad of that, and um, you know I follow my rule. Um, eventually, it did break this 191, but uh, not for a, a long while. So you don't want to be sitting here waiting uh, for that to happen and be at the mercy of the market. A uh, good re-entry would probably be when you see it it held this level and it's trying to crack it again. Um, probably 10:48 or whatnot, probably here on the third try, it's gonna be third, actually this is a fourth try. It should do the trick and it did. Um, so yeah, I, I was wrong. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, KSS is, is good stock for me today. I made money on both the long and short side, um, daily level. 
daily level it dropped uh, there's a huge gap here usually I'm uh, long bias on those uh, but I actually made money on the short side too so uh, 15 minute uh, doesn't really tell you much because it was just chopping around here a bit and notice how after it held the 15 minute for like about an hour it just started to uh, ramp up so it would be a good entry probably if you see probably around this one this level actually 55 13 or whatnot you see it holding this level it's starting to make its way back up take an entry there would probably be a good one um, but anyway uh, five minutes so um, again, this is good discipline. Um, I stopped myself out. I think. Let's see the what what I what I'm doing on the one minute here. Um, yep, I did stop myself out. It helped to my stop loss. So I thought I was gonna fall. Um, opening range nine thirty five. It actually did it uh, break up. Um, and I thought that at this level, after it made its way to the view up, it's gonna fall again. Um, because the stock based on how it looked I thought it was going to be um, weak you have this SMA coming down the stock gap down sure I was long biased but at the same time uh, there's a reason for it being a weak stock so I went short it popped up uh, I stopped out again I, I stuck to my rules 500 shares so this wasn't too big of a, a loss here uh, it popped up hit the SMA uh, resistance there and then it fell. So I waited for it to fall below the view app, and then I took a short position. Uh, went short, fell, and then I basically started to um, um, cover. Uh, and let's zoom in here. The cover covered on the way up. I covered, um, and then I went short. I think there's another short. It dropped. I covered some, uh, and then. Here, I added to my position. So I didn't completely get out. I uh, got out some, some, and then uh, on the way down, I added, uh, and then I covered some more. It popped up. This is actually, this is the scary part because I didn't remember. I added to my position, uh, so I didn't really completely got out of my position, uh, but it did pop up, uh, hit about VWAP, and then it dropped again. So when it popped up here really quickly, um, I was down maybe 300 bucks because, you know, I took... So initially it was 500 share, but then now that I saw I was losing it, um, I felt more confident, took a thousand shares, sold, 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 and it went back in. So I'm still at about a thousand shares, dropped, got a couple out. Um, and so here, when it popped up, I still had like maybe 800 shares or something. And this is a big pop when it just bounced up. But fortunately, this was really quick and then it just dropped back down. Um, so it kind of respected this and then it started kind of uh, trading around this level. I, I went short, it dropped more, I added to it uh, because now it looks very weak. Um, and then it did do a, a pullback and then it dropped. So I covered and then it dropped some more. I covered, covered. Um, and then it looked like it was getting strong again. So I covered the rest and then it did this, you know, uh, very quick pullback, probably just a brick through people's stop loss or whatnot if you set a heart one. Uh, and then it dropped again, uh, but I had no more shares at that time. So uh, that was uh, that was it. That was my uh, that was my play. Um, so yeah, this stuff like this is kind of dangerous. It just scares you, and then you may exit prematurely. Imagine it popped up, you try to exit, and then it started dropping again, and you just got out at a loss. These stuff are very it's tricky. It's very tricky. Yeah. That's why you try not to take too big of a, a, a position. At least I try not to. So that could be very scary. It drops and then it just pops right back up. And then it drops again. So you get out of the loss and then right away, profits run. Except you don't have any stocks left. It's crazy. Yeah, this is scary. I don't like this. It's, this is where the machine tries to, tries to screw with you. All right. Well, anyway, um, I did all right today. Um, proud of my discipline. Um, just need to keep doing this over and over again until it becomes second nature against my human nature, which is to screw myself up.